sino ba ang may-ari ng tinatawag nating reclaimed land? Pwede ba tong tituluhan? Meron tayong mga kababayan na nakatira malapit sa mga ilog. Mm-hmm. Mapinsan-minsan may nabubuog lupa sa riverbanks na eventually ay pwede nang tirahan. Mm-hmm. Minsan naman nakikita natin tinatambakan ng lupa yung ilog para mas lumawak yung mm-hmm. riverbanks. Ano ba ang epekto na itong mga to sa pagmamayari ng lupa? Yun! So, ganyan na ganyan ang tanong ng reader natin today. Her name is Marie M. And what did she say? Uh, My uncle would like to give me a small portion of his backyard. Now, this property is in Pampanga and is facing a riverbank. Yeah, mm-hmm. Nasa riverbank pala. And it's like an extension of his backyard. So, I was told it may no longer be covered by the land title he inherited from my grandmother. Mm-hmm. So, the piece of land, I think, was a reclaimed area daw. Okay, so my grandparents extended the back lots, uh, which were rice plots before, and made it part of the compound. If it does not have a title, can my uncle still give it as a gift? Very interesting question. Kasi uh, yeah. lalo na sa probinsya, Metro Manila, parang malabo na mangyari. Mm-hmm. Pero sa mga probinsya, posibleng posibleng mangyari ito. And magandang maintindihan natin na Terry Ramon kung ano yung mga pwedeng gawin. That's right. So today, what we will be talking about or ang pag-uusapan natin ay number one, ano ba yung mga reclamation na yan? Diba? Uh, ano ba yung effect if ever nung reclamation na yan sa pagmamayari ng lupa? Okay? Uh, pero, and uh, ayun, so, pero bago yan, I think we should do a shout-out muna para sa nagbigay sa atin ng comment na Terry Irwin. Ano bang sabi? Sabi niya, Attorney, Thank you so much for making these videos. It is very helpful to me. I got a lot of headaches just thinking how, what, and where to start the process of land property as I am the, one of the heirs of my great-grandparents. Thank you so much and God bless po sa inyo. And this is coming from Chris Sangte. Chris, thank, thank you so, so much. much. Thank you so much. We really appreciate uh, comments like this and it really encourages us to, uh, to do more videos for you guys. So yun, thank you. Please keep watching and sharing. Kung gusto nyong mag-submit ng tanong para sa show, please go to www.legalguide.ph and click the Submit Topic button. Yan! So, now let's get on with the show. If you're having issues transferring your land or have issues transferring the properties of a loved one who passed away, we have something that can help. We recorded an FAQ session where we answer the most common questions related to estate settlement. You can access the recording by going to www.legalaccess.ph and choosing the estate settlement topic there. Welcome to Legal Guide Philippines, where we simplify the law to help you, you make better choices. I'm Attorney Irwin Zagala and I'm with my partner, Attorney Ramon Ramirez. All right. So today we will be discussing. Uh, itong, ano ba itong reclaim, yeah, reclamation. Yeah. Oh, but uh, actually, uh, before we do that, uh, like we always do in the show, no, let's go back to the question. Mm-hmm. Nung, ano, nung reader natin si Marie M. No, so let's do some context setting. So what's happening here? Uh, so si Marie, meron siyang uncle. Mm-hmm. Now uh, si uncle, sabi niya, siguro. Uh, um, paborito niyang pamangkin si si Marie, di ba? So sabi niya kay pamangkin. Gusto kita ang bigyan ng property ko. <laughs> oh, sana hindi magselos yung ibang pamangkin. Oo. Oh, anyway, no, so gusto niya na ipamigay. I don't know why. No? But, kaya lang, uh, yung tung property ni Uncle, uh, katabi niya, river. Okay. So, ito yung property ni Uncle. Ito siguro river yan. Mm-hmm. yan. So, um, possibly, possibly, sabi niya, uh, reclaim. Sabi ni Marie. Oh, lumabas yung salitang reclaim. Oo, oh, reclaim daw yan. So, ano ba ibig sabihin yan? Uh, we'll talk about it later. No? Um, so, uh, since reclaim, parang basically, sinasabi niya, mukhang baka yung kung ano yung nakalagay sa titulo ni Uncle doon sa property, hindi uh, kasama yan. Hindi nakasama yung, oh. may, may parts na hindi nakasama kasi parang uh, reclaim nga. No? Ibig sabihin, may nadagdag na mm-hmm. doon sa, ano, sa property nung, ano, nung, uh, ni Uncle. No? So, ang... Uh, ano, so ang tanong niya ngayon, no, um, since baka ano na, sumobra na eh, no? Sumobra na 'yung nasa titulo, et, etong ano na dagdag na pwede pa bang ipamigay? At the back of Marie's oh. mind, I hmm. think ang ang iniisip niya, hala, eh, baka naman magtayo ako ng something here and hmm. then uh, legally may mali na pala. Yes. Sayang 'yung pera or hindi yes. ko mapapakinabang. Oh. Or baka hindi na kay uncle to. Oo. Oh. 'Di ba? Na hindi ko yata dapat uh, uh, ano yan, kunin yan. So si Marie oh. ilaglin niyan, syempre, mm. na baka may magawa siyang mali. And I think that's the context eh. 'Yun ang pinagmumulan nito. Yes. Okay. No. So, uh, 
etong question ni Marie is a really great opportunity uh, for us here in Legal Guide to ano to learn about tong legal concept na what we call naman accretion. Yan, okay ano pa tong accretion? Eh, we actually kailan ba natin natutunan to? We learned it uh, in, in property law, no? When we were uh, last time ko narinig tong term na to, to ni Ramon nung bar review. <laughs> <laughs> property laws. Yeah. Hindi siya ganun ka the last my encounter. Ito yes. Uh, at uh, least kami na we're, we're Manila lawyers. No? So, uh, Manila-based lawyers. We don't encounter it a lot. But uh, maybe mga, mga brethren or mga brother lawyers natin in the, ano, depending on the practice. Wherever they're uh-huh. located. But maybe they do. No? But so, since yun yung tanong ni Marie, yeah. we will tackle it. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, ano ba yung accretion? No? So, uh, the natural uh, process uh, of depositing soil on a riverbank is called accretion. Wait, may mga magic words mm-hmm. na ako nakita. Oh. Natural process. Yes. Oh. Okay, so kumari, again, let's imagine, no? let's imagine uh, um, itong lupa na to, katabi niya, uh, ano, ilog. Okay. okay. River. So may lupa, may river na dumadaan dyan. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, um, pro, uh, sometimes, diba, because uh, dumadalo yung tubig sa ilog, maraming dala na kung ano-ano yan. No? Um, isda, bato, uh, lupa, or whatever. So, nangyayari, in some parts, uh, in some parts of the, ano, uh, the river, nangyayari na may naide-deposit siya ng mga lupa dyan. Aha. Sa, ano, sa river bank. No? So, unti-unti, through the years, unti-unti, nadadagdagan at nadadagdagan yung yung lupa, yung river bank. So, uh-huh. by definition, this is a natural process. Yes. Okay, uh-huh. so dapat nature ang gumagawa na. Nature no? ang gumagawa niya. Okay, no? okay. Yung ilog mismo. Mm-hmm. Walang tumutulong sa ilog. Si ilog lang talaga ang gumagawa. Okay. Right? Now, actually, uh, itong definition of accretion, we can also find it in uh, uh, DNR, Department of uh, Environment and National Resources. Uh, tama? Department of Environment and Natural Resources. Yan. Uh, Admin Order 2020-16. So, sabi nung uh, DNR Order, uh, yeah, ad- Admin Order says, uh, ah, ano ba? Mag-attorney ba sa ba tayo? Tingin ko dapat. Para, okay, sorry, sorry. Mas sorry. maintindihan ng readers. Okay. Kasi, yes, kailangan may din. Let me get my glasses. To, uh, Kasi, hindi mo mapabasa pag walang glasses. Yes. And, uh, <laughs> it, it completes the ensemble. Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. Sige, so, accretion is the gradual an imperceptible uh, process of accumulation of soil or sediment on a land adjacent to the waterways or bank of a river as a result of the action of the waters therein. Yan. Yeah. Okay, so again, magic word is result of the action of the waters. Yan. So okay. nature does the work. Yan. Very so, important. Very important. Very part. important yan. So accretion is... It's a process. Okay? Uh, proseso po siya. No? No? Kung uh, accretion is what you call yung process, ano naman tawag natin dun sa idineposito? Lupa. Lupa. No? Dagdag na lupa. <laughs> dagdag lupa. Ito na ba yung reclaim? No. Ah, we'll find out later. No? Uh-huh. But, uh, ito ba yung dagdag na lupa? Uh, no. Uh, ang tawag natin sa, sa dagdag na lupa is called alluvium. Yeah. Alluvium. Alluvium. Sana um, our editors maglagay sila nung ano, nung uh, sa, ano sa baba. Kasi medyo Mahirap siya kakaibang, eh. kakaibang salita talaga to, di ba? Mm-hmm. So, yes. mabuti na na makita yung spelling. I, I, I've never used this word in 20 years. I mean, <laughs> Alright? So, uh, that's that, no? Ay, hindi naman. Kaka-graduate ko. Uh, hindi pala ako nag-law school. Na, ano. Anyway, so, <laughs> ayan. So, alluvium is the soil deposited on the estate fronting a river bank. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so ganoon lang ka simple, no? So the process ng pag-deposit uh, ng ano ng lupa dun sa dagdag na lupa by the river is called the accretion and yung idineposit ng lupa is called alluvium. Alluvium. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Now, um ano naman ang tawag natin dun attorney sa ano sa may-ari ng Wait. lupa. Si Uncle, kung ari, kung ari accretion yung nangyayari kay Uncle, no? Uncle ni Marie. Um Ano tawag sa kanya? Alluvium owner. Alluvium owner. Yes. <laughs> de, de. The accretion owner. Oh, di ba? Oh. Ang tawag nun, uh, ang tawag sa kanya is the riparian owner. Kung mapapansin mo, napaka-archaic na mga salita rito. Mm. Ramon, ano? And I think it's a reflection of when the uh, civil code was actually created. Yes. Diba? Oh, oh. Hindi na ginagamit yung terms na yan. But yeah. we have to respect what the law refers to. Uh, uh, use uh, the terms that the law uses to re- uh, refer to these processes, uh, products, and owners. That way, when you're doing your pleadings or doing opinions, you're consistent with the law. Correct, attorney. Okay, so 
yun na, so, accretion, alluvium, riparian owner. Mm-hmm. Very clear, no? Okay, so, what about the river itself? Uh, does the riparian owner own a portion of that river? Well, that's a good question. Yes, uh, we'll answer that later, no? But we'll give you a hint. Malamang. <laughs> All right. Okay. So, so that's enough. That's that's accretion, no? Uh, and that's uh, those are the basic concepts: accretion, alluvium, and riparian owner. Now, my next question, man. Who owns itong alluvium? Yung na deposit. Yung na deposit. Okay. Oh, wait. So, uh, by mandate of the civil code, uh, so sabi ng civil code, it is automatically owned by the riparian owner. Okay. Uh, from the moment the uh, soil deposit can be seen. Okay? So, basta nakikita na siya, kahit hindi pa siya nare-rehistro, uh, ano na siya, uh, considered owned by the riparian owner. And this was a case, no, uh, it's a 1997 case, it's Heirs of Navarro versus the IAC, or Intermediate Appellate Court. Mm-hmm. Yan, okay? I think that makes sense. Kasi hmm. kanino pa ba pupunta yun? Ilan to na eh. Nakadikit na sa... Nakadikit sa kanya eh. O, oh, diba? So, uh, wait. Um, and this is already backed up by Another provision in the civil code. Oh. So, ayan, kailangan ko na naman magbasa. Bas- okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Article 457. To the owners of lands adjoining the banks of rivers belong the accretion which they gradually receive from the effects of the current of the waters. Yo. Yon. So, malinaw na malinaw. And uh, I hope nabasa nyo yun. No? So, sabihin, those who own it, uh, kung sino yung may-ari nun, sa kanila yun. Yeah. Yan. So, Attorney Irwin, ang tanong ko sa'yo, ano yung rational tingin mo? Bakit, uh, bakit sa kanila nabubun? Ang daya naman, eh, ano? I think it has something to do with nature. Okay. Kasi, okay. kasi nature is very unpredictable. Correct. Diba, oh, correct. correct. Oh. Hindi mo naman na-predict yun nung binili mo, ay, lalaki yung lupa ko. Yes. Oh, oh. Kasi equally, hmm? what nature can give, nature can take away. It can take away. Yeah. You are equally prone na sabihin naman ng nature, ay, kunin naman natin yung lupa. Yes. Diba? Correct. So, Correct. so when, pwedeng dumaglag, pwedeng bumawas. But since you already took on ownership of a uh, plot of land na nandun sa lugar na yon, you are taking the risk. So, Cor- tingin ko, kung mag-benefit, eh, you say yan. Correct. Nakorek ka, Attorney Irwin. No? So, uh, kaya binibigay yan sa riparian owner because uh, it's given by law by the to the riparian owner because uh, the riparian owner also risks na mawala yung property niya due to the forces of the river as well. Swerte-swertihan lang oh. kasi sa'yo na deposit, di ba? Mm-hmm. Siyempre may pinagkuhaan yun. Exactly. Yun. Actually, I remember, if you guys uh, remember yung mga, ano, yung mga videos of yung mga nababaha or whatever, di ba? Minsan, kitang-kita mo yung buong bahay na wala. Eh. Mm. Di ba? Yung, yung dinaanan nung ano. It's yung, the whims of nature. Exactly. At play. Yeah. So, they, riparian owners, they also have that risk. No? So, if na-benefit naman sila, eh di, uh, swerte. swerte na lang oh. din. Diba? Okay? So, ayun. The accretion compensates the riparian owner for the diminutions which his land suffers by reason of the destructive force of the waters. Mm-hmm. Yan, sabi ng Supreme Court yan in heirs of Narvasa versus Imbornal. And that's a 2014 case. Kakaiba yung parties dito. Oo, oh, eh, oh, yun pala. No? Meron palang ganun. <laughs> Alright, so, Yun naman, ha? so that is the general rule kung kanino napupunta yung uh, ano yung deposit or yung alluvium. Okay? So next naman, we will be talking about uh, automatic ba yun na accretion. We need to talk about ano ba yung essential requirements for accretion naman. Bakit? Kailan, kailan ma- masasatisfy or kailan merong accretion no? Pag, under the law? And we're back. Okay. So, now we're going to talk about what are the essential requirements ng accretion. Okay? So, under uh, Article 457 of the Civil Code, sabi niya that uh, alluvium must be the result of what? The effects of the current of waters. Nature. Nature. Yeah. No? Uh, very uh, very clear. No? So, the essential requirements of accretion are, uh, we'll, uh, tatlo yan, no? First, that uh, the accumulation of soil or sediment be gradual and imperceptible. Unti-unti. Okay? Hindi unti. mo napapansin pag gising mo. Hindi mo napapansin. 
Ano? Pero dami nang lupot siya na. Oh, yeah, para, parang no. bata yan, na matagal mong hindi nakita. Uh-huh. Kapag nakita mo ulit, oh, oh, tangkat mo na. Uh, parang may ganun feeling yan. Oh, oh, yeah, through yeah. the years yan. Through the years. So it should be gradual, hindi biglaan. And sabi nga natin earlier that it be the result of the action of the waters of the river. Yeah. Hindi pwedeng... Gusto ko ng akrisyon. So, hmm. pupunta ka dun sa... Medyo... <laughs> Nagpupukay ka lang po. Nagpupala. Hindi po ito yun. It, dapat, dapat ninyo tinutulungan si River. No? Uh, siya mismo ang gumagawa niya. Okay? Um, and last is that the land where the accretion takes place is adjacent to the bank of the river. Obviously. Di ba? Kasi, uh, kailangan kung kanino siya, ano, ah, uh, Kung kanina siya dumikit. Yung oh. hati, nung ano, titulo oh. mo, di ba? Yung nandito lang. Yan. Yeah, no? So, da- dapat uh, adjacent siya. Okay. Yan. Yeah. So, uh, and these uh, requirements were, uh, again, mentioned by, in the case of Heirs of Navarro versus IAC. Mm-hmm. No? Yung 1997 case natin. Yan. So, th- this requirement uh, that the deposit should be due uh, to the effect of the current uh, is very ano uh, indispensable mm-hmm. hindi siya sobrang yun ang pinaka-importante ano uh, yun yung essence yes. ng ano prinsipyo of yeah principle of accretion okay so that means uh, that this excludes uh, article 457 excludes naman yung mga deposits caused by human intervention attorney yung tao mismo may ginawang paraan yes yeah. uh, so okay. oh, the requirement that the deposit should be uh, due to the effect of yung current uh, of uh, the river is very, very, very indispensable siya. Okay. Ibig sabihin ng indispensable, hindi pwede mawala, Attorney Ramon. Yes. Okay. okay. So, uh, yung things caused by human intervention, deposits caused by human intervention, hindi, hindi yan accretion. Ibig sabihin ng human intervention, hmm. may ginawa yung tao. Yes. Para, uy, oh. para may, may accretion. Right, right. So, <laughs> ano ba yung mga, ano, yung mga, sa mga case law, no, yung mga, like, what, in the case of uh, Nazareno, um, um, nagdalagay sila ng mga boulders no or uh, nagdadagdag sila ng soil or other filling materials para ano para magkaroon ng accretion nung so, dun, sila dun, yung oh, oh. sila yung nagpapala tapos hmm. siguro may machine na oh dami ha may ano ano ng ano ng territory yes ah, oh okay. so yan hindi yan accretion guys okay. no so hindi Eh kundi accretion yan, hindi rin yan pag mamayari automatically okay. nung riparian owner okay ano pa ba like um, meron ding mga kaso like Kawari, in the case of Republic versus Santos, which is a 2012 case, uh, ito naman, uh, sabi nila, may accretion daw. Kaya lang, ang napag-alaman ng court na um, hindi siya actually accretion. It was uh, previously part of the river, pero the river dried up. Okay. So, kumari, di ba, ito na yung, kumari, si Uncle, eh, ito yung property niya, river to dati, Eh, natuyo, natuyo yung tubig. Natuyo yung Luma, oh. lum, lumubog yung tubig. Lumubog siguro. So, okay. Siyempre, uy, lupa. Uy, oh, lupa. Okay. Oh, pwede ko na ngayon, uh, uh, ano yan, akin na rin yan. No, hindi rin ganun. No, that's not uh, accretion. Okay? okay? So, just let's be very, very clear with that. So, actually, um, if we're going to be technical about it, yung area na yan, um, yung area na yan is still actually part of the riverbed. Mm-hmm. Diba? So, hindi siya, no, hindi siya alubium as uh, contemplated under Article uh, 457 of the Civil Code. Bakit, Attorney Ramon? Ano ba ang classification kapag riverbed? Kasi yung, actually, yung river itself. Let's, river, let's start with uh, the river itself. No, There is the concept of what we call uh, public dominion. Public yeah. dominion. Public dominion. Ano ba ang okay. ibig sabihin ng public dominion? Ibig sabihin, walang pwedeng magmayari niyan. Kasi public. Yes. For the public. For the oh, public. Okay. Okay. So okay. actually, uh, it's owned by the state. No? So hindi pwedeng uh, a private person, uh, i-own niya yung ano na yan. Hindi pwedeng, itong portion ng river na to, kasi since, do, since uh, ka-align nung, nung property ko, akin dyan. Mm-hmm. Bawal kayong mangisda dyan. Bawal kayong mag-swimming dyan. Bawal, hindi pwede po yun. No? Because uh, the river is, uh, forms part of the public dominion. Okay? Uh, same, same like, kung ari yung ano na... Um, kuwari, mga beach, ganyan, yung, yung, yung tubig, di ba? Hindi pwede yan. Okay, um, so actually, you can find that in Article 420 of the Civil Code. No? So sabi doon sa Article 420, those, uh, one of these na, ano, sabi niyan mismo, those intended for public use such as roads, canals, rivers, torrents, rivers, yeah? na yung rivers, oh. no? ports, bridges constructed by the state. Yan, banks, shores, roadsteads, and other sim- uh, others of similar character. Yan, so river, public dominion yan. So, if yung river is public dominion, obviously, yung riverbed, so kung natuyo yan, public dominion. Still public dominion. Oh, so, hindi okay. mo pwedeng angkinin yan. Sir. That makes sense. Okay? So, 
Yun yun. Now let's go to reclamation. Ano ba naman itong mga reclamation na to? Anong ano ba yung nature niyan? Mm. So, um by definition, no, uh, and you can look at, you know, you can google it or whatever, but by definition, generally reclamation happens through human intervention. Ah, oh, yes. Oh, okay, yeah. gumagamit sila ng kung ano-anong uh, kung ano-anong equipment or makinarya to uh, to reclaim or para madagdagan yung lupa na dati ano lang siya, dati na tubig lang siya, biglang nagkakaroon ng, ng uh, dagdag na lupa, no? Okay. Yung pag-reclaim na ganyan, uh, since there's human intervention, hindi po siya uh, kino-consider na accretion. Okay. Okay? Now, guys, uh, the the uh, the state does this some private persons does uh, do this as well no yung pag pag reclaim uh, it's a whole process I, we want you to understand no? and, and this is probably um ma, this would be an episode uh, a separate episode but there's a whole process of how to properly reclaim land no uh, whether whether you're doing it uh, as uh, uh, as government or if you're doing it privately uh, kailangan, kailangan, ano, you have to do this in coordination with the government. Hindi pwede pag-ising mo, ay, parang gusto kong mag-reclaim. Gusto kong dagdagan uh, tong, uh, lupa, ah, lupa ko. Iabot mo nga yung pala ko. Yeah, okay. Hindi po pwede yun. <laughs> no, uh, uh, do you, if you do that without the consent of the state, you run the risk na makonfiscate yun, kahit uh, yung, yung property na yun. Okay? So please, please don't just, wag na lang kayong mag-reclaim <laughs> on your own. Please don't do that. Okay? So, now that we've talked about that, I, th- I hope clear yung ano yung, yung foundations yes. natin, no? and yung effect ng reclamation. Okay, uh, uh, it's not automatic na you will own it. So let's bring it back to Marie's question, Attorney Ramon. Okay, so I'm not sure kasi with respect to ano with respect to Marie's question, if um, pareho kami ng understanding of what reclamation would be. No, but let's assume na that we, we have the same. No? So. Um, her uncle's backyard, yung backyard ni uncle, eh, faces a riverbank. So, possible accretion siya. Okay? And, uh, ano ba sabi dun sa, ano, yung part na nadagdagan, parang yun ang gusto niyang i- ano, i- i-donate. Mm-hmm. Tama ba? And, uh, she also said na, uh, which, tama naman, kasi sabi niya, bukang baka hindi nakasama dun sa titulo ni uncle. Mm-hmm. Diba? Um, but she also mentioned that it was reclaimed. Yun ang term na ginamit. Yes. Na, okay. Now, ngayon, guys, if it was reclaimed, ibig sabihin, uh, under our uh, general understanding of uh, ano of uh, reclamation, merong human intervention. Okay? So, if nagkaroon ng human intervention, Marie, then possibly, uh, hindi siya, hindi siya magko-fall under yung Article 457 na accretion. Mm-hmm. Diba? Na automatically si uncle na yung may-ari. Mm-hmm. So, it's possible na, ano, it's possible na makonfiscate yan uh, in favor of the state yung property na yun. Okay? Mm-hmm. Pero baka naman uh, ang ibig mo sabihin doon sa reclaim this uh, accretion, okay. then it's also possible na. And we can't fault her kasi napaka-technical ng term. Yes, correct. Uh-huh. Okay? So, but assuming it's, ano, uh, assuming it's uh, reclaim talaga, um, it can be surmised that the portion to be donated uh, was previously part of the river and that would make it uh, public dominion. Mm-hmm. Okay? Therefore, hindi pwede. Yes. Kasi so, never naging pagmamayari ni uncle sa state po yun. Correct. Because the land formation is possibly man-made. Okay? Um, like we said, the reclaimed area still actually technically forms part of the river. The river, no? Hence, it's uh, public dominion pa rin. Okay? In which case, since public dominion yan, hindi pwedeng ipamigay ni uncle even if he's been living in that uh, ano, area already. Okay? So, yun ang ano. Now, and if it's accretion naman, eh, well and good. No? Well and good, you can, ano, pwede nyo ipatituloy yan, yung additional, okay, uh, using the, ano, using the civil code provisions of uh, Article 457. Um, and, and eventually, pwede nyo ipamigay ni, ni Tito, ni Uncle, yung, ano, yung donated properly. Okay? Now, guys, uh, again, we just, we just use Marie's question as a, Springboard to be able to talk to you about these concepts of uh, accretion, alluvion, uh, alluvium, pala, uh, and even to mga reclamation. No? But please, please don't use this as your virtual consultation. No? Um, please consult, consult your lawyer uh, and use this as a basis for consulting with your lawyer. Now, uy, attorney, we heard na ganito or we learned na ganito. Can you enlighten us more? No? So go to a lawyer that you trust and uh, consult with them. And we'll be back after this short break. And we're back!
For most of you, this video was more than enough. And if it makes your life easier, then of course, you're welcome. But there are those of you who will watch this video and ask, end up asking even more questions. Like, uh, attorney, how do we actually transfer the properties mm -hmm. no, to uh, from this person to the next? Or, uh, attorney, what are the documents needed to transfer these properties? What's the process? Uh, who do we go to? Yeah, maraming questions yan. If that's you, you can access our free recorded FAQ on transferring land where we answer the most common questions we get from clients who consult us about real estate. Mm -hmm. Watch it on www.legalaccess.ph by choosing transferring land from the options. Now, one last thing. The, the concept of accretion, alluvium, uh, it's, these are relatively uh, complex uh, concepts. So there's a lot more to it than we discussed today. So. If you have more questions or if your situation is a little bit different, please, please, please consult a lawyer that you trust. Or better yet, consult a lawyer who special, specializes in property law. That way, you ensure that your rights and opportunities are protected. So wasn't that simple? Now go make better choices.